This is the second part of Heat of Formations lab, and we have one more problem to do. This will be more like what you will see on a, an exam. I don't have, there it is. Um, where I told you I will give you the uh, heats of formation, but I may not just give you just the heats of formation that you're looking for, but I don't expect you to memorize four, four pages of information either. Um, so what you will need to do is to find out which one of these do you need. So PBS, I only have one uh, of those, so I'm going to need this one. Uh, oxygen, I have O2 and O3. It's O2 that I'm looking for. So it's that one. SO2, I have SO3 and SO2, so it's this one. And PBO, I have PBO2 and PBO, so it is this one. So these are the ones I'm going to be using. And that way you don't have to select from free pages information, but you still have to pay attention and to select in some way. So the heat of form, the enthalpy of reaction is going to be delta H. And my products, so big parentheses, I have two, so I want two times the delta H of formation of SO2 plus, again, a coefficient of two, so two times the delta H of formation of PBO minus I have two lead two sulfides, so two times the delta H of formation of PBS, plus I have three oxygens, so three times oops, the delta H of formation for O2. Now I plug in the numbers, so the SO2 was this one, so it's going to be two times a negative 296.8 plus two times the lead oxide was this one so minus 219.4 minus two times the lead sulfide was a negative 98.32 plus three times oxygen is zero so when I do the first parentheses, I get a negative 1032.4 minus, when I multiply two times the 98.32, that this goes away, gives me a negative 196.64. And so these two are basically, um, I'm sorry, a negative and a negative makes it positive. So I get this minus that basically, and so it becomes a negative 834. 5.36 kilojoules and again because it's negative it is exothermic there and that is the end of this video